Amethyst Geodes. You know, they spawn in your Minecraft world. You mine like a billion of them through your entire playthrough in a world because heaven forbid they make these glowing hemorrhoids farmable. You know what? I'm gonna spend the next 15 hours researching, writing, and editing a video for just the possibility of If you have watched my other content about aura generation, you would know that this is usually the part where I delve deep into the generation of these quote unquote ore deposits. Wait a minute, are geodes considered ore deposits? Wow, that's so unhelpful. Usually with a little research on the Minecraft wiki, I find a way to join multiple ore deposits together by random chance. Easy math, easy views. So, I tried to do that with geodes, but this one's different. It's impossible for them to link up and be connected in a way that could be considered one geode. So instead, I'm going to be focusing on the internal generation of the geode, and more specifically, budding amethyst. Now, the Minecraft wiki states that out of all the amethyst blocks in a geode, 8.3% get replaced with a budding block. This was super intriguing to me because usually what the wiki means by that is that every amethyst block has an 8.3% chance of being replaced by a budding amethyst, which has totally different implications. What, so you're just gonna assume that it's a chance? Nope, actually, I can prove it. I ran an experiment by mining an amethyst geode with a total of 224 amethyst blocks, including budding blocks. I then multiplied that by 8.3% to get the mathematically perfect amount of buds there should be if it was a set ratio and not a percent chance. That comes out to be 20.3 buds. We can round that to 20 or 21, but here's the kicker folks. I got 23 buds out of that geode. Also, I'm insane and I ran this experiment seven more times and got heavily varying results too. So I think it's safe to say budding blocks rely on an 8.3% chance of converting rather than it being a set ratio. And that's important to know because now we can move on to The Infinite Monkey Theorem states that if you put a monkey on a typewriter and it presses random keys forever, eventually it will write basically everything. Okay, yeah, I know, bear with me. This is why I like probability so much, because if there's a chance, given enough time, there is always a way. Imagine every amethyst block that has yet to be generated is controlled by a monkey with 1,000 keys on his typewriter. Now, imagine 83 of those keys spawn a budding block and the rest spawn normal amethyst. It's totally possible for the monkey to, by random chance, only hit the keys responsible for budding blocks. It's a monkey. It has no idea what it's doing. In reality, it's a bit more complicated than that because seeds exist, but that doesn't change the fact that it's possible for every single amethyst block to be budding and sprout tons and tons of amethyst clusters. Oh, I get it now. Well, I guess we're done here. Nope. Yeah, even if all of them are budding, the six sides around them need to be air or water to sprout any amethyst clusters. Also, we need to figure out how big these things can get in order to calculate the final yield correctly. I looked through a lot of pages and it seems like no one has a definitive answer to the size or surface area of geodes. But I did look around in a random seed for about a half an hour and I found a geode with 801 amethyst. This massive geode had around 15% of it gone because it had a hole, not all of them do, and after trying to calculate for all of that, it was getting very close to 1000, so screw it. The limit is 1000 amethyst blocks or so. It's not very scientific. Of we also need to know how many of these budding blocks are able to generate clusters based off if they were exposed to air or water. I'ma be honest, I don't remember geometry very well, 
So I did the very improvised solution of placing torches and vines all over a small geode at the spots clusters could generate. I'm failing two classes right now. In my defense, there's a multitude of problems I would have run into if I ended up modeling a sphere or something. This geode had 131 spawning spaces and 244 blocks. This shows that amethyst clusters can only generate around 58.5% the amount of amethyst blocks in the geode. I know, it's a weird way of putting it. This in turn means that for our 1000 block geode, 585 amethyst clusters can generate. If we have absolute luck and fortune 3, that's 585 times 16 shards per cluster, leaving us with 9360 shards in a single geode. That's enough for 4,680 tinted glass, almost a double chest and a half. Needless to say, this geode would meet all of your glass needs for a long, long time. Make sure to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. How rare is it? Well, considering we need 1,008.3% chances to occur, that would be... Huh.